We don't care. We don't care. Huge. Look at this ginormous belly. Hey guys, so I don't know if vlogging today is a good idea. <laughs> But I thought I only have a few more weeks of this pregnancy left and I haven't done like a pregnancy vlog. So this is going to be extremely real life and <laughs> if it gets too real um, then I'm just not going to post it. But we are in the car. As you can see I've got my two little guys and uh, we <laughs> Henry says hi and we are headed out I've already had my doctor's hi. appointment oh Jack says hi too hi um so I've already had my doctor's appointment this hi. morning I my sister was the one who was watching uh, them uh, uh. My sister was the one that was watching them while I would go to my appointments which was so amazing uh, What Jack you have like four passies. He has three passies. Okay, so she, which was amazing. That was totally amazing. She's been so awesome. But she got COVID and so did the rest of her family. So obviously they're like recovering now. They're doing okay, which is good. And they're like starting to feel better. But you know, they're contagious for a while. And obviously Daddy. me getting COVID would be horrible at this point in the pregnancy it would just not be good so oh and my husband's calling hello hello and it's like nothing is working oh hello yeah i guess when you're trying to call it was going to my headphones i think that was the problem it's like i'm having all these malfunctions but jack's just going barefoot we have to go figure out a couple of decorations for the living room um so and henry you know he's doing better now that you talked about the murder mystery thing but jack's just everything is one shoe it's like the craziest thing i've ever seen yeah everything is just one single shoe so yeah we got through some tough times and now we're in the car love you bye papa. papa is at his house so anyway as you guys probably heard from that phone conversation um we're trying to head out because I have to, the living room makeover, I was hoping it would go up tomorrow on Saturday, but it's looking like probably Sunday. Um, hopefully. <laughs> but I still have some last minute decorations because I'm not liking how some things turned out like on the fireplace and stuff. So and we're actually gonna meet my mom, which before COVID, we used to go shopping together sometimes. And that was a nice thing, but it's been a long, long time since she's even seen the kids so yeah that's yeah. interesting but so anyway since i have no babysitter um my husband has to watch them and um i have to do it early in the morning so that he can leave for work after i get back so we did that and that went fine that went smoothly the appointment went well um besides the fact that she was like um they weigh me every time, which I hate because, you know. <laughs> and um, I could barely even see because she had me like against a wall on the scale. And I was trying to see how much I weigh and like my giant belly was in the way. And I was like, bending over to see. So I saw how much I weighed luckily because she probably would have had to weigh me again. Because then she's like, and this is a different nurse. I had to see a different doctor today. And she was like, did that say 120? like 120 pounds and like I'm sure she knew that that was like impossible or whatever but she legit asked me if that's what it said and I was like there was a long pause and then I was just like no definitely not and we laughed about it and I was like yeah write that down write that down <laughs> that's how, that's what it said but we had a good laugh about it but yeah I don't weigh 120 pounds that's actually how much I weighed most of my like teenage adult life so maybe I'll get back there one of these days um, since this is my last pregnancy. But anyway, um, so yeah, the appointment went well. Everything's looking fine. Um, and I'll update you guys on like a pregnancy update and stuff. But um, I work from home 
with all my kids and it can be hard sometimes that's for sure so we're trying to get this living room makeover video done so we're gonna run some errands for that I am feeling very pregnant very huge very hard to move around have to pee all the time all that fun stuff and then Jack's shoeless because we have one shoe guys I'm not even kidding you it's like four pairs of shoes that we just have one of they're different types of shoes and we just have one of each so I guess technically I could hopefully find two of different feet and because one of them we have two pairs of the same kind of shoe because they're really good shoes cheap from Walmart so I got two of them thinking that's smart no now we have two left feet of that same type of shoe so yeah it's just thing uh-huh uh-huh so we're gonna try and turn this day around because it's been a little baby Mario it's been a little crazy and uh, we're going to do some shopping. Hopefully that goes well. And yeah, that's our morning. Why? All right. <laughs> Jack says, okay, so. Hi, guys. Welcome to our video. Yeah, welcome to our video. So. Even, even baby, baby Mario said hi to you. Yeah, they're both saying hi. So the boys are having a little goldfish break. We just went to Target, bought a big thing of goldfish. Um, we're waiting for my mom. She's supposed to be here at about 11.30 to go into the store because I need her to watch them while I use the restroom. So, um, but I thought I'd show you guys what I got from Target. So, someone's getting out of their car, but we're just gonna pretend like they don't see us. Okay, so, um, I needed another pillow. And this one has, oh, it's the rear climate that's so loud. This one has all of the colors of, well, almost all the colors I'm going for. It has the gray and the black and like kind of some cream. I don't know. So I'm hoping this works. I like like the detail it has. This was from the Magnolia. What, Jack? Yeah. And then... We got, you don't have any more left. Oh, you do have a little bit left of your drink. Um, of course, we got a bunch of balloons. And of course, I got stuff for baby girl because I cannot help myself. Look at this. It's really bad. I need to stop. But with all the fall stuff coming out, like how adorable is she going to be in the fall? I just can't take all of the cute stuff. I loved how this was ribbed and the baby pink and then this was really cute this one says little sister which i cannot resist but then it has these like fall looking leaves and this little i just can't resist i can't resist it's a problem it's a real problem but okay so this i don't think is going to work out but i just grabbed it just in case i'll return it it was only 15 dollars, so not too bad um but i'm trying to decorate my mantle and i'm kind of struggling um, and then we got just like a fall candle, which they wrapped up. Bunch of balloons. Then I got more of these to put in. I have a bunch of those already. Oh, something similar to this, which I love. Let's see, the sun is kind of bright. So this was only $12.99. So this I thought was a really good deal. And excuse the mess in the back, but I'm just trying to show you all the coloring of this. It has the black and like a little bit of like cream. So it's kind of perfect. So I really like this. And then I'm gonna put, oh, where will this fit? <laughs> These in it, like that. Hopefully that's enough. I don't know, but I really like this. So I think this was a success. This, I don't know. Maybe we'll return that. We'll see. But sometimes you have to buy more than we got more than you really need because oh, Jack's throwing the goldfish. Great. Um, because you just don't know what's gonna work, and then you have to like return things and stuff. So, and we are on crunch time. We cannot go back to the store because <laughs> we have this video coming out very soon. But anyway, that's what I got from Target. Hoping my mom shows up soon because I really need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> but these boys, they've been better. They've been, Henry was very good in the yeah. store. He had a hard time because he wanted Dada to stay home with us. Jack, please stop throwing the goldfish. Mm -hmm. um, but now he's, he's in a better mood, so that's good. 
and then Jack, he had like two meltdowns in Target, but you know, he got a few compliments on his hair at least. And he, but Henry was the good boy, right Henry? Mm -hmm. You were the good boy. Okay guys, so apparently this is a car vlog. <laughs> so I've been in the car like this whole time. I don't know if this is even gonna be interesting at all. This is why I don't vlog. <laughs> um, but I guess this could be like a haul vlog because I have got more stuff. I don't usually shop this much for home decor, um, but we're doing this living room makeover and honestly, like uh, I have bought like nothing for our living room and dining room as far as decorations go, like since we moved in. So it really takes a lot of stuff to like decorate a space. So I don't know, I'm kind of stressed out by the amount of money that we have spent on all of this, but I think it's totally worth it and our house feels so good and we're gonna not buy any more decorations and stuff for a while. I've also been buying way too much girl clothes, so I need to stop that too. So I need to just go on like a spending freeze or something where I just buy like nothing. But um, I'll show you guys what I got. And by this point, the living room makeover may be up already, hopefully, when you guys are seeing this. Um, but I was just at, at home. I can spend forever there. And my feet feel like they're gonna fall off. I was there for like, an hour or two I don't know it was a long time but I'll show you guys what I got so Jared is home with the kids which makes things much easier so I got this little piece to put these like little ball decoration things on for the piano because I felt like the piano needed some more decor and then oh no the stuff that is wrapped up I probably can't show you guys but that is just like a similar piece that I already have that I wanted to get a second one and I thought oh they're not gonna have it anymore because I had just found it in a random spot when I originally bought it but they had it and I'm so happy and then they also had this plant too which I wanted like two of the exact same things next to each other so that was a huge find and then this pillow this charcoal pillow with the little puffs this thing they had a ton when I bought it um but then I realized I wanted two of them and I was looking around, could not find it anywhere. I found the last one in a random section. So this was like a huge find. I was gonna have to go with something else and I was kind of upset. So that was a major score. Then this is another, it's kind of like this thing. It's gonna go on the buffet behind the dining room table, which I wasn't even planning on putting that in there. So I wasn't even planning on having to decorate it. So then I also got these um, candlesticks to put on there as well which I think I like I don't know we'll see when I get them and then I got these balls sorry this is not a great haul because I'm not really showing you guys but y'all can watch the makeover video these are has like cream and black and gray all the colors that I have going on and then I got these really pretty like little balls to go on this that I'll have to show you guys maybe when I get home or something because I'm sure they're all wrapped up but yeah it was very successful I definitely recommend at home it has really good prices and it has so much stuff but be prepared to walk around there forever like the same thing happened to me last time I came Whew. okay guys look at me I'm so huge look at this ginormous belly um anyway it is how can we do this I have no makeup on I just remembered that oh well um it is multiple days later since I vlogged last, but I got my nails done today. The, uh, I got pink, bright pink for a girl. I got shellac, so hopefully it'll last. I don't like to do dip because it lasts so long and I can't get it off and I don't get my nails done like constantly. Um, but I like shellac because it lasts a good amount of time, but then it comes off pretty easily um, when you want to take it off. So when it's just kind of looking bad. So anyway, I got my nails done and my toes done. I'll show you guys. I am so swollen. My feet, look how swollen my feet are. It's insane. But I got pink. Sorry, the floors are constantly dirty. We do our best, right, around here. But I thought, the kitchen's a mess, but I thought I would share with you guys some stuff I purchased. Um, just for fun and just kind of like chat with you guys a minute to end out this vlog <laughs> I don't even know what was the last things I vlogged, but this is just my 
you know, vlog channel where we're just real life and we have, we are humongous. It is so hot out. I just posted a pregnancy update so I won't complain too much about being huge and hot because you guys get it. <sighs> Please ignore the mess. Anyway, I wanted to show y'all a few things I got today because I got some fall stuff. So one second. My Dunkin' Donuts drink. It's the pumpkin spice cold brew, I think is what it's called. Pumpkin cream cold brew. So good. Better than Starbucks. This is our first year having the fall Dunkin' Donuts in the fall. Because we didn't have a Dunkin' Donuts in our town until now. And I am obsessed. This is like day three of getting it. So it's a problem. But I thought I would do a little H-E-B haul. But it's like cleaning stuff or like good smelling stuff. So, oof, bending over is not easy. <laughs> this pregnant, okay. But I just thought it'd be fun to show you guys real quick. So they had this scent, Glade has this scent right now called Pumpkin Spice Things Up. So I got three of these. These are only like 96 cents. So I got one for each of our bathrooms. One, two, three. Woo, I'm so pumped for fall. It is so hot out, like I've been saying. So it does not feel like fall, nor is it fall. Fall is not till like the end of September or something. But we don't care. We don't care. We don't care. <laughs> um, because it's just fun and exciting. Fall is like, I wouldn't say it's my favorite season, but it's cause I get bad allergies in the fall. And I don't know, I really do like summer a lot. I just think it's really fun. But summer is like coming to an end and we're not doing things like I'm huge. So we're not like going swimming or going to water parks or anything anymore. We're just kind of slowing down. And so I'm ready to start transitioning. Plus for my cleaning channel, I really need to do like a fall clean with me. So then from that same line, I got two of these were really cheap too. Just like less than a dollar little sprays for the bathrooms. So I thought they would look cute in the bathrooms and also smell fun and festive. Then HEB had this Texas Pumpkin Harvest dish soap. I am trying, I'm on the hunt for the Mrs. Myers apricorn whatever scent. Um, but I've been to two Targets and an HEB and I've not found it yet. So I don't know if it's just not here in Texas yet, but at least HEB is coming in clutch. Um, and what else did I get? From that same pumpkin spice things up, Glade line, I just got this cute little candle. Just a little pumpkin candle. Oh, and then I thought this was cool. This was only like $7. It's called Enchanting Lavender. I had just gotten my nails and toes in when I ran into H-E-B. My mother-in-law was watching the kids. Mm. And so I was feeling like lavender and like, just making my home feel like smell good and feel relaxing. And I was like feeling those vibes. I'm in a good mood because much better mood than yesterday when I filmed my pregnancy update because I had Manny Petty today. So I had like massage and everything was relaxing. And then I also just got, I always get this um, for my marble. We have a real marble table. So I prefer to use something like this. Granite Stone Daily Clean and Shine. And then I got some Clorox wipes. They always get me with the coupons. I never do it right, especially Target. Target purposely tricks you with their coupons. Like, for example, the other day, it's like, oh, all kit, toddler and baby clothes are on sale if you spend $40 or more, blah, blah, blah. Well, I get up there, and of course, I don't get the sale. And I'm like, well, I had pajamas in one of the, in the $40, and apparently that was not a part of the sale. They trick you, I'm telling you, they intentionally do. But this one, H-E-B is normally pretty straightforward, but this one you had to buy two, and I accidentally only grabbed one, and there was no way I was walking back over there this big to go get a second one, so I was just like, oh well. But always can use some Clorox wipes. I have three boys, need I say more? Okay, so then I'm trying to get my oldest like set up before the baby comes, to so just kind of get him comfortable and everything try to address like any issues he has. So when things are crazy with the two little ones, my four and two year old, and with the newborn baby and me recovering from a C-section, um, I just want him to be kind of set up. My 12, um, he'll be 13 at the end of September. So I just don't want him to feel like forgotten. I want him to feel comfortable and set up. So one issue he had is his sheets 
were always coming off his bed. They just didn't fit properly. He has like a, he has our old bed, which I think is a queen, but it wasn't fitting. So I got him a king size sheets. It's a, it's a bed that goes up and down. So maybe that's why it was coming off. So I got him king size sheets and they're like supposed to be like, have a better grip on the ends and I'm trying to teach him how to put his own sheets on because I am humongous and I just do not want to be doing that anymore. He's old enough, almost 13, to put his own sheets on. So hopefully this will make it easier for him because that's the other thing is I'll tell him like, hey, go put your sheets on and he will try and it doesn't work out and so then he just doesn't do it and I walk up there to like wake him up and he's got no sheets on his bed and I won't even be able to walk upstairs for a couple weeks after a C-section. So I just want to make sure he has sheets that are like reasonable, will stay on reasonably, and then that will, um, are easier for him to put on. And I'm going to give him a few lessons before this baby comes on putting sheets on the bed. And he already has a mattress protector. So we're going to work on that today. And I was just almost out of these things, so I went ahead and ordered it from Target. My Clinique All About Eyes Cream, under eye cream, have to have that, very dry skin. And then my oil-free Neutrogena makeup remover. Isn't this weird? They feel like zip ties around them. But um, this stuff, I have very sensitive skin, so I can't really use makeup remover wipes or whatever. This is the only thing that doesn't like irritate my eyes when I take off my eye makeup. So I got that. The most exciting thing I ordered from Target has not come in yet. I think it comes tomorrow, and that is the entryway table for our entryway um, makeover video. Guys, it means so much to me. We posted our living room and dining room makeover video recently on my clean channel, and so many of you guys have been so kind, like basically everyone, so nice about it, like telling me it looks great and everything, and it's just... It's so, so sweet to have this like community of people that are so like kind and encouraging and stuff. So, um, but then, oh, I don't wanna show you. Ah, I don't wanna show you all our address. Um, but then I got another thing for Carter. He does like a hybrid school. So it's like his main classes are through his private school. And then the rest of his classes are like online homeschool type stuff. So like Spanish is online, but like English, history, math, and science are all at this school, this new school he's doing. So anyway, he goes two times a week and then he goes to like an electives type thing one time a week and then he takes golf lessons. So he's kind of got like a different vibe going, which is more like what we were doing when I homeschooled him a couple years ago, but it just became too much with the little ones. So now he's old enough to go to this like homeschool private school, which has been great. But I got him this book, The Maze Runner. I actually read this when I was like, probably like 16 or something, I don't know. Um, but I saw this on a list of like good books for teenage boys and I remembered really liking it, but the main character is a boy and it's actually a series. So if he likes it, I'll get him the rest. But I just wanted some like books, like fun books that he would enjoy reading that I wouldn't have to be like hammering him on the head to read. Um, so got that for him. And then he wants a PS5 for his birthday, which they're actually apparently hard to find right now and they're really expensive right now too. But we're gonna like ask for money from everybody, <laughs> like um, including his dad is gonna give him money. And then um, instead of doing a big party, he wants the PS5. So putting all the money together to get that. So hopefully we can get that on his birthday. Um, but apparently it is difficult to find right now. Mm. But my husband likes video games, he plays video games, so he should be able to figure it out. But yeah, so I think I'm gonna end the vlog now. Hopefully I have enough, um, but I just didn't wanna leave y'all hanging with whatever footage I have from before. You guys can let me know if y'all even enjoy vlogs or not. Um, but they can be kind of fun. And I need to just like, I, I think I get too worried that they need to be like, make sense or whatever but i think for me the best thing is to just like film when i can and put it all together i don't know <laughs> so anyway i love my pink nails so much and we only have less than three weeks now till baby girl is here so very exciting but anyway i'll see you guys next time if you do enjoy the vlogs please give it a thumbs up because that lets me know you like it and it also just helps out my channel with the algorithm and everything and then if you aren't subscribed already be sure to subscribe and click the bell to be notified when i post new videos like I always say, we're gonna have the birth vlog soon and I'm gonna do like a birth vlog and I'm gonna do a 
first 20 like what to expect first 24 hours after birth and then um, you guys gave me the idea which I may talk more about c-sections like do a whole dedicated video on it if y'all are interested but some of y'all mentioned I should talk about c-sections and I thought maybe I could do like 48 a video like the next blog would be like 48 hours after a c-section type thing so you have to have like you know titles that people are actually like searching I guess but then also that just like makes sense with what's going on so anyway that's what I'm thinking so those should be some interesting videos so don't miss out and I'll see you next time bye